Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will introduce to you a super interesting way how you can earn money using stock photography on Getty Images. So with that being said, drop a like, let us get started right away. Alright guys, if you're not new to earning money on the internet, I am sure you have already heard of the idea of using stock photos for your commercial projects. I mean stock photos sourced from sites such as Getty Images, Shutterstock or Fope can be found literally everywhere online on blogs, websites, in social media posts, in news articles, and so on and so forth. No wonder since they are A, royalty free, and B, they have some really decent quality. I mean, you will find high quality photos to use for your online projects in any niche and sub niche you like here on Getty Images, for example, like photos of this cute pug traveling by car, photos of birds and parrots taken in the wild nature, or of astonishingly beautiful landscapes too, customers visit stock photo sites like this one, look for photos to use for their projects online, both personal as well as commercial, for example to add to their online blog or website, and download the ones they would like to utilize, for example this photo here of an iceberg floating in the water. That's one way how you can earn money with stock photography nowadays guys. Take an account though that you cannot download and use these stock images free of charge. Users who want to utilize photos sourced from sites like Getty Images need to purchase usage licenses. Acquiring licensed content from Getty Images will give them the right to use it royalty free in any and all media worldwide non-exclusively and for an unlimited number of times for their projects. The price per download depends usually on the image size and resolution. For example, small sized licensed images can be bought for a price of 150 euros, medium sized for a price of 335 euros and the largest ones cost 475 euros. So that would be option number one. Luckily though guys, there is also option number two and this one can be done actually for free. So you don't have to invest any money or acquire any licenses. However, it will be required from you to put some effort into it to make it work. Let me elaborate. So earning method number two would imply to create, publish and sell creative resources as a contributor on the marketplace of Getty Images. For example, as a hobby or professional photographer or video maker. How does it exactly work and how much can you expect to earn? Well, it is actually pretty simple. You create content as a contributing photographer or video maker, submit some of your best work for publishing on Getty Images and customers looking for creative resources find your files on the marketplace of Getty Images under a specific search term and every time a customer purchases a license to use your content, for example on their own blogs or websites, on social media and even in books or on TV, you get paid. Is there earning potential behind this? Well guys, what I can definitely say is that Getty Images is amongst the most popular and most frequently used stock photo sites in the world, with more than 800,000 customers worldwide, including global brands. So if you'd ask me, there is definitely some decent money on the table you can earn as a contributing photographer, both professional as well as hobby. How do they calculate your earnings? Well, according to their FAQ section, contributors earn royalties between 15 and 35% on each licensed file. However, note that your final earnings per sold license may vary depending on the file type, the product type, and also on the intended use. In general though, you can assume to have higher chances of earning more, the more creative content you upload. It is actually simple math. What content type generates the most profit? Well, in reality, it all depends on what content type you are comfortable with. Yes, it is true. Licensed videos and illustrations may bring you slightly higher rates than licensed photos, provided you sign to get the images as non-exclusive. That's what most contributors do. However, guys, at the end of the day, it all depends on what you are really passionate about. If you're not a video maker, but instead love taking photos, be it with your camera or with your smartphone as a hobby photographer, then I guess you may have higher chances of earning more as a photographer than as a video maker, even though they pay slightly higher rates for submitted video files, plus royalty rates of 15 to 20% may not sound like the highest payment rates on earth. Yes, maybe, but guys, if we do the math here, 
we will see that there is actually some decent earning potential behind this even from one single sale you get. Say for instance a customer finds one of your photos like this photo of a beautiful green parrot and purchases a medium sized image of it to use it let's say for their online blog about birds or parrots because they're birds enthusiasts. That license sale could bring you based on this table of payment rates on Getty Images and payment rates of 15% if you signed up as a non-exclusive, let me do the math here for you, 15% of $355 would make roughly a royalty of $53. $53 just from one single download, guys. And the greatest aspect of this is, guys, selling stock photos is a business model that will allow you to earn money 100% passively. Well, sure, it will be required from you to do some proper work up front and to publish some of your best resources first. True. Nevertheless, guys, once your content has been approved by Getty Images and has become discoverable for these aforementioned 900,000 customers from all over the world, it will stay online and allow you to earn money 100% passively with every download it gets and every time a customer purchases a license to use it. Selling stock photos as a contributing photographer is in fact one of the very few earning methods that can factually generate real passive income. I mean, customers can access your published creative resources even via a smartphone using the app of Getty Images. However, guys, one last thing to mention. Now, since Getty Images can be considered a serious website run by true professionals and with lots of well-respected global partners and customers, we can assume they will want to ensure you're actually a good fit first before they accept you as a contributing creator. So to do that, they ask applying contributors to submit three to six sample photos, illustrations, or videos that are their original work and that don't violate anyone's copyright. They will review your sample work, check if it meets quality standards and notify contributors who have been accepted via email of their decision. As previously mentioned, all contributors start with a non-exclusive agreement granting royalty rates of 15 up to 20% per downloaded license. Another option would be, I mean, if you're really passionate about taking photos in your spare time or if you're a professional photographer with years of work experience, to sign up on multiple stock photo sites on the internet as a contributor. Remember, the more content you have in your portfolio online, the higher your chances of making sales. I stuck, for example, another pretty popular stock photo site, Vecteezy, Shutterstock, Fope, or these guys here, Clickersnap. Well, Clickersnap are quite unique and exceptional on the stock photo market because these guys allow contributors to earn money not only from downloads and sales, but also from simple views. Yes, you're right. On Clickersnap, you will be given a chance to get paid every time a potential customer views your uploaded content. Of course, they pay not the highest rates for that. Usually it's between 0.1 to 0.9 cents per view which means you will have to collect really a lot of views to earn any significant amount of money with this. But on the other end, your customers don't need to buy any licenses or to generate any downloads or sales for you to bring you profit with this. So guys, that's only a few stock websites you can earn money with as a passionate photographer in 2023. Well, and that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.